now it's currently 7 36 p.m and we're heading out to the shop right now i had to sleep in today today all day i was just kind of sleeping in and resting it out because we've been like working all week and we kind of need a day off you know we kind of need a little bit of time off get you know a little bit of some sleep because we just been like working so much especially right now since we have the shop it's kind of hard to handle a shop i'm not gonna lie but we're pushing through i'm gonna be honest if you're not ready for a shop don't get a shop trust me when i say this because opening a shop it's like it's like opening a new business you have to make sure that you get the work for it you know you have to make sure that you work hard you're gonna be there all day every day sometimes making sure that um, everything is running properly and stuff so that's something that you guys have to know when opening a, a detail shop we've been trying to get customers like on a daily basis so that's what we've been working on we've been dumping a lot of money into ads we've been dumping a lot of money into things you know to get the business going it's gonna be a short night you know I'm just gonna work for like four hours I mean like four or five hours maybe and then we're just gonna head, head home so we can get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we have another ceramic coating getting dropped off so I'm pretty excited about that but stay tuned for the rest of the video and I'll catch you guys at the shop the floor as you can tell we're gonna finish the whole floor this Sunday just to make everything look good and then we um, are gonna put the flags up there the car flags just to make sure uh, the shop looks freaking sick. We've done a couple upgrades, like we put some of these um, bottle holders from MacShine, and then we also put one of the brush holders from MacShine. As you guys can tell, we have all the brushes right here. I did buy some new brushes. We organized everything yesterday as well, so we kind of put um, the labels on all the chemicals. But here we have the lights. Something that we've been trying to, something that we might also do is we might put some of those lights on that side something cool i do want to show you guys is this right here this is the display for the coatings so this is what we use to uh kind of like sell our services so sell them on the ceramic coating we'd be like okay so this is what we do this is the ceramic coating um you know we show them the ceramic coating we show them how hard it gets on the paint just like the applicators that we've used you guys can see this scratch right here it should come off though it's not like really bad but the paint is kind of cooked but hopefully maybe the all-in-one can you know work we're gonna be using this one the all-in-one from 3d this one works really good in situations like these because either way a one-step polish is gonna do enough to make sure this thing comes out beautiful and then basically once we ceramic coat the whole thing with uh legend from pns this thing's gonna come out looking freaking amazing Really, 
Hay algunos camaradas que sacan de remate y están buenas las camionetas. Sí, sí. 30 baros. No la estamos detallando. Esta nomás le hicimos a... Uh, el, le vamos a poner el ceramic coating ese. Oh, okay. Que viene siendo como una protección de, de mucho tiempo. Nomás le vamos a hacer un one, un one step. O sea, es uno nomás Pero leve. se ve chingón. Ya, yeah, se sí. bien. Ojalá que se mire chingona y uh -huh. este... Mañana le vamos a aplicar el ceramic coating. Uh -huh. Y ya mañana la recoge el cliente. So. Oh, Yeah, ¿Lo empezaste hoy apenas? Uh, no, la empezamos ayer, sí. porque ayer le hicimos la lavada, la, sí. el clay bar uh -huh. y luego este, pues ya nomás ahorita vamos a terminar el resto. Main, main, el Exactamente. El, detalle, el ceramic coating y listo. Está bien, así como de unos pinches palmas. Sí, es que no vas... chulada. Es chulada de troca, ¿verdad? Porque a lo mejor si le das con dos... Con 2000? Yeah, 2000. Sí, sí, como la vas dejando allá, se ve chulada. Se ve chida, ¿verdad? Y ya con el pinche coating se va a ver posible. Pues, ve, más va también. A y, oh, Exactamente. Exactamente. <laughs> good. guys so it's currently 11:39 already and we're still working on this truck we're just gonna finish it tomorrow because i don't want to be here all night either trying to finish it up but we're just gonna be here till maybe 12 head home and then continue it tomorrow and then also we're, we still gotta polish that one side over there and uh just finish it off tomorrow i'm gonna have my crew help me out either way i got most of it done i got this full side polished up and then I just, I'm gonna finish the hood tonight. And then the rest of it, um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, let my morning crew finish it up. Either way, my brother, he handled the interior as well. So that's good. We got the interior all cleaned up. So we should be done by tomorrow. But everything's all done, all door jams. They're all nice and clean now. And then tomorrow we're gonna start coating it. So we're leaving right now. We're going home. It's currently 12:28 right now, as you guys can tell. And we're heading out home right now. That's what it is to hustle out here, bro. You gotta be willing to put in the work. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. It's currently uh, 10 a.m. right now, and we're heading back to the shop so we can finish that job because we gotta turn it in today and then uh, we'll go from there. But I just came to pick up uh, some coatings that way we can be in stock and not have to like be coming here to the store all the time and pick up coatings, but let's see how it goes. Today's gonna be a pretty, uh, another stressful day because we still gotta finish this truck. But the good thing is that I have uh, two helpers helping me out today. So I don't really, uh, I don't really mind, you know? We're gonna get this shit done real quick. Nice to see you. Let me guess what? What? Fucking Jose ain't coming. He is. This is hella late. Are you recording right now or what? Yeah. Why well, are you gonna say some stupid shit? Nah, guess. You brought the toilet paper? Oh. You brought me one? Yeah. For free? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I don't want my ass fucking day We don't have toilet paper in the shop. Where at? Uh, what about the plant? Some of 
restaurant. This is our nah, bro. I only polished half of it. Yeah. I guess so. We just got another drop off right now. This one's in for a ceramic coating as well. Pretty easy to do. And we gotta finish this truck right now. So we're gonna try to finish this up. We, we can turn this one in tomorrow, but we gotta turn this one into a day. So we gotta finish it up. We just gotta polish this side. And then we're gonna go ahead and start ceramic coating it. <sighs> go ahead and uh, see you on Monday. All right, see you Monday. All right, man. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, sir. Booked another one for Monday. brought my guys some food and um yeah, i'm gonna be honest we're a little we're a little backed up but it is what it is man we'll see what happens though bro i'm stressed right now i'm really stressed good thing is we got more customers booked in we got more customers booked in but i'm still feeling a little fucking stressed right now i don't know why but Let's get through this day, bro. That's the only thing we can do. We can just get through this day. Running a business, bro, that shit ain't easy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could just like rest up all day. Just relax, you know? Just getting it ready for uh, the coating for tomorrow. We're just gonna go ahead and apply the coating tomorrow on it. Just so we can have some work for tomorrow. And we gotta finish this one by 6 p.m. This one's almost done. I already got this full side already done. And it's currently 2.39. We're gonna take some nice pictures with the Canon camera and make sure uh, we get some content for it as well. So oh, let's try to finish this up real quick because the customer is waiting. Hey, how's it going, man? Come for me, right? Louis? Yeah. Awesome, man. Let's check it out. Is that car right there? Yeah. Perfect. You come from San Jose or? Yeah, yeah, nice. So what's wrong with it? It was just this part of the hood. It's like, you see it from like a different angle. Oh yeah, it's like little scratches, huh? Little scratches. Ah, this part. Yeah. What happened, do you know? Like, it's because um, last time, there was like bird in my car. And yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I just see it. I see it off and put it you just scratch it up. Scratch. Mm -hmm. I tried fixing it with the Maguire, like a um, scratch. Okay. It's just like this. Uh, was it like a compound that you use, or you used kind of like a microfiber towel and just kind of did it like that? Uh, no, it was like it had like that pad thing where you okay. put like a screw and then you just like try to like pull it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I just like messed it up. Makes sense. Yeah, because, um, what's it called? It looks like it can come off though, man. Um, I don't know if you would just want me to try it right now. Huh? It's a quick little thing anyways. It's like, I try it, like, right now, it's like, kind of dusty, so it looks like you can move it, but yeah. like, when you clean it, it's like, it's like still there. You can still see it there, huh? Okay. Um, let me check it out on this side real quick, just to see. Yeah, because it, it doesn't look like it's too bad, man. I feel like a cool, a cool little polish can take it off. And just uh, see what we can do as far as that, man. I mean, if you want to try it out, we can take it off. Yeah. I'm just, every time I look at my car, I just see that little spot. See that little spot, huh? Yeah, and you have a black color too, man. So it's kind of like hard to keep clean, you know? Yeah. Thing is, just pull it like kind of like that. And we'll, we'll get it fixed up right now if you want right. to get it done. Right. Thank you. Cool. Man. No problem. So... But if anything, scope it out tomorrow. Let me know what you think as well. And we'll go ahead and uh, try to fix it up, man, okay? Yeah, yeah. thank you, man. 
No problem. Sorry if you guys were doing something and like I just. No, no, you're good, man. You're good. That's what we're here for. You know, that's what we're here. You guys, do, um, you guys have, you guys come to. Yeah, we come to you. We have a mobile van over there. It's do come fully equipped with power and water, so we can get any job done. Hey, if anything, look at it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Check it out in the sun. Shoot me a text if anything happens. No, okay. You, yeah. Appreciate you, man. Right, if anything, you. let me know. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I um. Took us forever to get this done, man. Yeah, so everything came out good though. I recorded the whole process, so I'm gonna be posting it on YouTube if that's nice. cool with you. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, that way you can see it too. Inside as well, let me know what you think. We just cleaned it up for you, make sure it looked good. Awesome. Vacuum everything, carpets, seats, mats, doors. I know it's a work truck, so it has like little imperfections, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and feel the paint is nice and smooth, man. Yeah, Super awesome. smooth. What's it called? We put it in the sun. It's freaking shiny as hell, man. Yeah, a lot of the that. swirl marks, awesome, they dude. came off and uh, awesome. yeah, you'll be able to tell. When I was up close to it before it was clean, obviously. Yeah. You see, like, all the swirl marks exactly, clean, man. Too obvious. many swirl marks and stuff, but yeah. we cool. Really appreciate appreciate it, you, man. Thank Thanks, you so man. much. Yeah, and uh, here's the key. Before oh, yeah. I take That's the truck, man. <laughs> Everyone loved the truck. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Everyone was telling me like, "Damn, this shit's badass." It's a head turner, Hell yeah, man. So just take care of her, and uh, it's gonna be yeah. hard to uh, to get rid of her when it comes time to get the next one. Man. Hell yeah, man. You getting something bigger or what? Probably not bigger. I'll probably get something equivalent in size. Maybe yeah. A, maybe a 2500 or, or a 3500. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I might go with a GMC next. GMC next? Hell yeah, I think man. So I don't know. I like to change it up every once in a while. Yeah. You gonna get a black one this time or no, man? Don't really get a black one. Don't I was get a black one. Going for like the cream. Cream one. Ooh, those are badass, yeah. man. Hell yeah. Those are so much easier to maintain oh, too. Yeah. Black okay. is the worst. If you do the black. I'll probably start off with the PPF right off the. Yeah, front start off with PPF yeah. right away, yeah. man. That way you can avoid all that stuff right there. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So this came out clean. My brother finished it while um, I was doing some other stuff, but it came out good. I'll show you guys in the. Alright guys, so we just finished up right now. Um, it's currently like 11.17 right now and um, we're about to go home right now. We had a very long day. Um, as you guys can tell, the truck was a freaking hassle to finish. We do have another ceramic coating over there that we're going to be doing tomorrow on that red truck. And then um, this one was in for a full interior deep clean and we already got it done. My brother knocked it out and they came out looking like brand new so we're gonna go ahead and turn this one in in the afternoon and then we're gonna turn that one in in the afternoon as well and then i do have another ceramic coating coming in tomorrow in the evening so let's see how it goes and um today like i said it was a busy day the good thing is that i got that big truck out of my chest bro like i couldn't sleep i haven't been sleeping because of that damn truck we've been here working day and night trying to finish it up but we finally finished up and it's time to uh you know wrap it up with that and keep going keep getting more work um you know days like these where we stay overnight just kind of makes me want to go harder in my business you know it just that's just part of running a business and that's something that you guys have to um, understand when you guys get a shop it's not going to be easy you know, i'm working the business myself you know because we're barely growing it we're barely um you know getting into the shop life and we do want to get maybe a bigger shop later on but um this is what we have to work out of so it is what it is but thank you guys so much for watching this video comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because we're gonna go crazy with this youtube channel peace out